Good morning, my sister and brother, birthday warrior here, trusting that you are doing well. I have this new tripod up, and it's not working the way I like, but nevertheless, how are you today? Happy Tuesday, happy Tuesday. Well, I'm tardy because I was baking and trying to get that done, and baby's crying, so that's what I've been doing. So how are you? It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. It's a beautiful day. So let us go ahead and bow for prayer for prayer before we get into our devotion. Father God, I thank you, Father God, for this beautiful day. I thank you, thank you, thank you, Father God. Right now, Father God, I'm asking you to decrease me so that you'll be increased. Allow your Holy Spirit, Father God, to take full control. I thank you, Father God, for hearing, for answering to the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. So scripture reading is coming from Psalms 104, verses 14. 104, verses 14. And it reads, and he caused, caused it the grass to grow for the cattle and the herbs for the service of man. And he may bring forth food out of the earth. May the Lord add the blessing to the reading, hearing, and the doing of his words. So I told you I was making journey cake, right? So this is what it looks like. It's like a biscuit. It's a biscuit and it's made out of um, all wheat flour, see? And you could cut it. And then you could put, you know, stuff in the middle if you choose to. It's very good. I like to make these, especially when I have a lot of avocado. So that is what I've been doing, baking, baking, baking. So with that, my sister, my brother, let us talk about draw spiritual lessons and health benefits from the tree. Draw spiritual lessons and benefits and health benefits from the tree. Father God, as we go into this lesson, Father God, I ask you, Father God, to open our hearts and a mind to receive this information. Thank you, Father God, for hearing, for answering through the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. It goes on to say, In a certain place, preparation was, was being made to clean the land for the erection of the sanitarium. The sanitarium back in the day used to be like a hospital. Light was given that there is health in the fragrance of the pine, the cedar, and the fir. And there are several other kinds of trees that has medicinal properties that are health-promoting. Let not such tree be ruthlessly cut down. Better change the site for the sanitarium building than cut down these evergreen trees. There are lessons for us in these trees. God's words declare, the righteous shall flourish like the palm tree. He shall grow like the cedar in Lebanon. David said, I am like a green olive tree in the house of God. I trust in the mercy of God forever and ever. The Christian is likened to the cedar of Lebanon. I have read that this tree does more than sent down a fruit short root into the yielding loom. So the loom was like a clay and a sand and um, and water all contained together. Okay, that's why it was a loom. It said, it sends strong roots deep down into the earth and strike down further and further on to in search. It strike down further and further in search of the still stronger hold. And in the fiery blaze of the tempest, it stand firm held by its network of cable beneath. So Christians strike roots deep into Christ. They have faith in their Redeemer. They know in whom they believe. They are fully persuaded that Jesus is the Son of God and the Savior of sinners. The goodly sound of the gospel is received without conflicting doubt. The root of faith strike deep down genuine christians like the cedar of lebanon do not grow in the soft surface soil but are rooted in god join in the cleft and the mountain rocks study these lessons from the tree study these lessons from the tree i would dwell long on this subject but I must not just now. I ask you not to cut away your pine tree. Maybe that. I ask you not to cut away your pine tree. 
they will be a blessing to many. Let them live. I want to say to you, my brethren, my sister, that you have my prayer and my sympathy in your work. Remember that you are trees in the garden of the Lord and that the divine protection is around about you. The most visible, the line of demarcation between the flowers of God and the barter and torn of Satan's planting, the more the Lord is glorified. So they have to be a separation, my sister and brother. Demarcation meaning separation between the flowers of God and the, and the torn or the bush of the wild roses, like the torn part, right? Torn. And so those are the one that Satan plants. So he planted the thorns and the the wild, he said the bush of the wild flowers. So you know, like when you look at some, go in the garden, and you've got all these spikes on there. It's beautiful flowers, but they have spikes on there. So we got to be very mindful, right? So she's telling us to be very mindful. There's a separation between the flowers of God and the individual that are serving Satan. And as we go into the last battle of earth history, you can see so much separation that's going on right now with the things that's going on in the world and what the government are, are proving, uh, children being being uh, married off to, to grown men or different crazy stuff that's going on, things that you will never think about uh, that would be uh, happening. But it's happening today, my sister and brother. So there's much prayer that is needed much prayer that is needed and we need as family as as parents grandparents protect your little ones my sister and brother there's so much deception going on and i let me advise you if you got your children in a public school maybe that's not the place for them to be my sister and brother uh, maybe you might be able to go into a christian environment or you might want to be at stay at home with your child and train your child because there's too much uh, evil that's in the public system and it seemed like to me that they're doing more and more and they just pushed the needle and a little bit further and a little bit further and God is saying these are my children these are children baby a baby cannot make decisions for themselves okay we parents we grandparents are the one that make the decision for the child not the government, my sister and brother. So this is wicked world, my sister and brother. Uh, Jesus is coming back to judge this world. And we as Christians, he's coming back to judge. And the judgment begins in the house of God. So we as individuals need to be grounded in the word of God. Studying, praying like we have never prayed. Fasting and praying, my sister and brother, for these last days. Because it's going to get, it's going to get terrible. I mean, sin has to show its ugly head all over, and it's going to get worse. So if you are complaining right now, my sister, brother, you will, um, I will just hold that, hold it, hold it, hold it. Do not, because it's going to get worse. So if you're not able to, they say to stand right now, my sister, brother, when will you stand? When will you stand? There's deception going on all in all over the world. And if you say you have that TV on, turn that TV on. That the news is not the news, my sister and brother. They give you information to, how would you say, to down your system, to make you, how would you say, to weaken your vessel. So in order for you to stay strong, we have to continue to study the Word of God. So let me encourage you, study the Word of God, my sister and brother. Study the Word of God. Let us bow for prayer. Father God, I thank you, thank you, thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father God, for this message. I thank you for my sister, my brother, that stopped by here today. Father God, you know the challenges that we're going through in these last days, the different things, Father God, and you just wonder, Father God, when would it end? And we know that it's not going to end until you say so, Father God. So, Father God, we thank you for being so patient with us, for loving us, for caring for us, for sending your son to die on Calvary's cross for us. Father God, we ask you for a special protection over our families, over our children, our grandchildren, Father God. Allow, give us the mind, Father God, that we need in this long start day, Father God, to be like the cedar of Lebanon, have our root deeply grounded in, in the word, Father God. 
deeply connected to you, Father God. And Father God, we ask you just give us the power. If we have said or done anything, Father God, today that was not pleasing or acceptable in your sight, Father God, we ask you to wash us. Wash us and make us whiter than snow. And Father God, we'll forever give you the praise, the honor, and glory. We thank you, Father God, for hearing. We thank you for answering to the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Okay, my sister and brother. Well, this is Bird of Warrior. Find me at birdofwarrior.com. Follow me over YouTube under Bird of Warrior. There's a wealth of information there for you and your whole entire family. And you might wonder what's going on with my grandkid. He's there with his cousin and their uh Spending time listening to um, some numbers, 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 numbers. So you want to see the baby? Let me get it. Okay, hold on, hold on. your cousin yeah so with that my sister and brother i love you appreciate you until tomorrow be Daddy. blessed and take care Daddy. and then say bye uh-huh i'll be there in a minute you finish your apple okay say goodbye oh we need to do the four hugs for survival so let's do the four hugs for survival so here we go one Mm, two, three, mm, four hugs. Four hugs. Oh, oh the elephant. <laughs> yeah, so she had the elephant there too. This is her auntie's elephant. She gave it. Like it. Uh huh. She let you play with it, huh? Yeah. You have a good auntie, huh? Yeah. Yeah, she spent time with you today too, right? Uh huh. Elephant, yeah. elephant. So with that, my sister and brother. So I'm having a great time with my grandkids right now, and I'm still baking, still baking. I put um the last um uh -oh. the last Johnny cake in the uh, an oven, and then right, I just put that in there. Uh huh. And then with I'm gonna go ahead and give her a bottle, and we'll get some other stuff done, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> so with that, my sister, brother, I love you, appreciate you. Until tomorrow, be blessed and take care. You want to say bye? You want to say bye? Yeah. Bye. Say bye. Yeah. Bye. Oh. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. yeah. She's eight months. So I love you, my sister, brother. Until tomorrow, be blessed and take care.